Hello guys, so here and you're welcome to another episode of Shexel tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at the HSC Incident Trend Analysis tool. So this tool has been designed for users to build a qualitative data of their workplace incidents to generate insightful reports. All right, so qualitative in the sense that you are gathering facts about your incident that has happened at the workplace based on your incident investigation reports, you know, to be able to build a database based on this structure. So the structure of the table, you're looking at the company, the dates of the incident, the case ID for the incident, because you want to be able to differentiate between various types of incident, especially incident with the same, you know, titles and stuff like that. You want to distinguish between them using a case ID, the incident that has happened, the details about the incident, the type of incident it is, the injury category, the type of injury, if there was any downtime, you provide that, the related activity, related equipment, the location of the incident, underlining causes, cause category, types of person involved, the sex, levels of investigation, and status of action related to the incident. So this will help you to build a database in a very you know, structured format for the purpose of trend analysis. So the trend, we are looking at the incident dashboard where we have various reports looking at you know the types of incidents the injury category the incident cause category persons involved incident location types of injury incident trend and the downtime and you have these slices where you can actually use you know to drill down to various specific types of incidents or you can simply clear the filter to be able to view the entire report all right we again have another you know dashboard which is injury to body dashboard where you can actually see the various types of injuries that are affecting personnel on the various body parts all right basically the various body parts where injury can potentially okay so you can then clear the filter you know to be able to see the entire list or you can just apply individual filters right here for specific reports now mind that before you start using this tool, you need to make sure that you update the approved list. Approved list is where you would actually, you know, change the parameters that you'll be using in the source data. So parameters in terms of list of companies, types of incidents according to your, you know, management system, documentation like your incident investigation procedure or incident classification you know, standard or manual, whatever documents you have that provide the various types of incident and their definitions, you use that to update list of incidents or types of incidents. Again, body parts where potentially there's gonna be an injury to the body, all right? So you can add on to the list, you can add on to the list of types of injury, you can review it, you know, types of person, you can review it, causal factors, levels of investigation and status. So this is the approved list and that is what is utilized in the drop down list right here. So list of companies, as you see on the approved list, you find it here in the drop down list. So every time you click on this, so just take note of the arrow pointing, pointing downwards over here. Click on it to be able to select, you know, the item within the drop down list. And you also take note of, you know, the types of incidents you select from the drop down list. We've made provision for two columns, you know, for types of incidents or incident with more than one classification where you can select, for instance, there was a near miss, the near miss was a dropped object, and the near miss, uh, perhaps there could be another thing, all right? So usually you're gonna have, most likely it's gonna be two, but for some reason, if there are three classifications, we have all the columns available for you. If these two classifications are not relevant for you, you can simply hide the column, that's after you've cleared the data, you can hide the column so that you focus on only just the first type of incident, again, Injury to body, select from the drop down list, and um, type of injury from the drop down list, and the drop down list is all coming from the approved list. All right, so as you build your database based on the information or the facts around the incident that you've gathered from your incident notification, initial notification, where you've gathered preliminary information about the incident, or incident investigation form where you have more in depth knowledge about the incident, so you've gathered all the facts you build your database in the most logical format 
and upon completion you simply go to the data tab click on refresh all and all the dashboards and reports within the workbook will update all right so we have a lot of reports like trend incident types downtime injury category and these are what we actually use to build the incident dashboard all right so these are all used to build the incident dashboard again we have incident timeline in here all right where you can actually change the color codes to suit your workplace scenarios but this is pretty much the standard color code that you may not want to change because fatality is red and all of that you can change this to green okay this and this is pretty looks the same so you may want to change near miss to let's say green or something all right so you have the option to do the changes you know all the changes you want but the idea is that whenever incident occurs, you simply copy the shapes, paste it on the location or the time where, or the date where the incident happened, just arrange them nicely, provide details in it. And the goal is that you want to drive your safety campaign towards zero workplace incidents in a given quarter. All right, so this is something that you can print on an A3 sheet, paste it on a notice board. Employees are will be familiar with the incident that have happened over the time frame and would understand why it is important there you know there is zero incidents in a given quarter All right so this spans the timeline can be changed from you know whichever date that you want from 2022 all the way to 2024 you can do that you've provided enough timeline for you to use all right so that's just for info so a recap of this tool is designed for building qualitative data of workplace incident to generate insightful reports on a dashboard for decision making. So it's not always about the numbers game where you're looking at incident statistics, but you're looking at the qualitative data, how you analyze it to ensure that lessons can be learned, management are aware, employees are aware of the trends, which parameters is dominating the most, which location is recording the most incident, which equipment is causing the most incident, which type of employees are causing or are involved in the most incident for, for which they have to be properly controlled through some training, retraining body system, through you know proper engineering control on types of equipment to prevent personal exposure and all of that. All right. So to use this template, obviously you review the approved list, very important. Again, you need to get rid of the data in here because this is a dummy data that we've provided. Just for you to appreciate what the template looks like so we get rid of the dummy data and the important step we need to take is that we go to the data tab and refresh all all right so as you can see refreshing all clears the data of i mean clears all the dashboards and report of any data so over here is blank over here is blank over here is blank over here is blank they're all blank which means that the template is now ready for your own data all right so then you update your list of companies you make sure that all the parameters here are according to what you want and then you begin by building a database click on the cell take note of this arrow click on it that's a drop down list select the company provide your date the case id incident you know title the incident details the type of incident it is and all so assuming we've built our database all right so let's bring back our data that we've just deleted all right so we've built our database all you need to do is just go to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all and that will update the incident dashboard the injury to body that dashboard the incident trend reports and all these other reports and you can then manually build a timeline of your incident for your safety campaigns all right by simply making sure you have the color codes right and populate these you know shapes according to the date when the incident occur in a very beautiful you know format that is appealing to the eye so for instance this happening here you may want to rather position position it here however you want to do it that is all up to you all right so thanks guys for your attention if you need support always visit us you know on www.shexel.com you can get in touch with us right on the front end of the website through the live chat. The live chat will pop up right now. You'll see it very soon, but that's where you actually can locate us. We have a list of a lot of templates in here. 
that you can actually you know check them out they are very very good we have a lot of reviews we have about 185 reviews a lot of professional safety professionals are very happy with our templates if you need support simply get in touch via the live chat we're gonna respond to you instantly again you can book a meeting with us book a meeting you can do that right here you can open a ticket if you've already bought a template and you want some customization done to it or you want some support you can always book, open a ticket you can book a meeting you can request for a live chat we provide customization service you know if you need a custom build to suit your workplace scenarios again as part of the support for us we would entreat that you leave us a review you can leave us a review right here again we have a community on Quora a Quora space where we are providing all the answers to most of the frequently asked questions we have a YouTube channel so if you want to follow us subscribe to our channel so that every new video we make you get a notification and again if you believe that you need extra support for a long time then you can purchase our support extension that's where you can have endless meetings for every time and every challenge you face you can always book a meeting and then we can actually discuss it all right so thank you guys for your attention and i'll come your way once again yeah i'm gonna see you again so thank you guys for your attention and cheers bye for now